right? Like the things that are very important. And for you, like with the website stuff and having somebody take care of little problems so you don't have to. I mean, it's so exciting not to have to do some of this stuff. I can't even tell you. And if you could start your business with this, it's it's invaluable. Well, yeah, you know, I, I with this the launch of this site and another site that'll be coming out next month, uh, it definitely would not have happened without mobilizing a number of different people, including full-time virtual assistants. And so now... Um, you know, I can get I, I can get so much more done. Whereas before, you know, there wasn't much time left over. You know, I was putting everything in an inter- internet business mastery, and there wasn't much time left over without working overtime, which I refused to do. You know, there was only so much time I wanted to work every week, and you know, now I've probably got five or six people today, literally right now, mobilized working on different parts of these projects. And that's the only way to make it happen. So, you know, if if somebody came to me now and said, what is the fastest way from where I'm at right now to where you're at right now, I would say sign up for the academy, go to getreplacemyself.com, hire a full-time VA, and you'll be doing well in a few months. And and that's that's just the absolute truth. Yes, it's an investment, but it, I I mean, you know, anybody listening to this who's thinking, man, there's just always so much information and only so much time and maybe I still have my full-time job and I just can't manage to get it all done. Well, you know, figure out a way to afford getting this full-time VA. And again, we're talking for a matter of a few hundred bucks a month, you know, two, three, 400 tops, hundred bucks a month. You can hire somebody full-time, 160 hours a month working for you. You get the academy and you just hand everything to them and say, look, I mean, you know, you go through it and design what you want. And then for all the little particulars and details, you say, here, go do it. Here, just set this up the way it says. And, uh, you know, you can still be spending the time with your family and all the other responsibilities you have, and this will still be getting going and uh, on the side, and you'll actually be able to replace yourself or, or duplicate yourself, whichever way you want to look at it. So that would be my answer for that question of what's the fastest way from point A to point B. That would be it. Awesome. Well, I completely agree and wish I had started that way as well. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> All right. Well, well, it looks like we're already uh, <laughs> packing this episode. We haven't even gotten out of the chit chat. Uh, we've got so much stuff in this episode, so many cool things. So I guess we should probably jump into the feature segment. Let's do it. And now the feature segment. All right. Now we have arrived at part four. Yes, part four out of Five now total parts to our online business blueprint. This is our complete step-by-step system of how you can get your own profitable internet business off and going and making money for you. So last time in uh, part three, we talked about attracting a community of loyal customers who look to you as a trusted advisor and who buy again and again and how that is the most important asset that you can get for your business. In, uh, and then step number seven was to create compelling content that will continually keep that community engaged and tied to you and build up that uh, relationship of trust so that when the time comes to find out what they want and to make a product to uh, fulfill that and to sell it to them, all you know the influence is in place such, and the trust is in place such that marketing and sales are extremely easy. So now that brings us to steps eight and nine, which we're going to go over today. Savvy secrets for effective email marketing is step eight. And we'll be talking about email marketing. And step nine is about generating massive daily traffic to your site and products. All right. So email marketing, what is it? Well, email marketing is sending regular messages to a list of people who have given you permission for you to contact them. So we're talking about permission-based marketing. We're talking about people who have opted in through some kind of form on your website or otherwise to, and said, yes, you know what? Send me emails on a regular basis, your newsletter, whatever it may be. If you've looked at our site, you see we have an email newsletter, uh, which you can sign up for and you get a bonus gift for doing that. And then you get regular updates every week with some of the latest tips and content and things in there. So that's what email marketing is. And it has two purposes. Well, actually, let's talk about why it's, why it's important first. I mean, this goes back to the whole customer, building up the, the loyal community of customers. Email marketing is an a, a extremely effective way still for keeping people's attention and keeping them refreshed of who you are and what your brand is and contacting them on a regular basis and delivering value to them such that relationship and trust build up over time. And it's also extremely powerful when it comes to converting to money. I mean, putting a link in their inbox, a call to action in their inbox is still a very profitable way to get people to act, to get people to buy, to get your market to do whatever it is that you're trying to get them to do. Yeah. And we've had several emails that have converted to nearly 60 grand 
And I'll tell you what, you send out an email and you make almost 60 grand and it, it'll take, uh, it'll make you sit up and take notice. <laughs> and in fact, yeah. it works so well that we've done it again and again. Yeah. You know, and, and some people will say, oh, email marketing is not effective anymore. It's dying. And, the, you know, and we talked earlier about how people are spending more time with their social networks now. But the truth of the matter is it still works and it still should be part of your system. And in fact, is something from day one you need to be doing is building that list. And so that's why we have a whole course around this step, step number eight of email marketing inside of the academy because it is such a critical part of the business system. So the overall purpose is twofold, to build a relationship with your community and number two, to send direct marketing messages that invite the leads or previous customers to buy products and services that, that you offer or also products and services that you recommend to them, you know, affiliate income and stuff like that. All right, well, the way to start with all this is to first find a dependable system for maintaining your email list. And this is absolutely not a place to cut corners. I mean, if your most valuable asset is your relationship with the loyal community of customers that you keep in touch with regularly, who look to you as a trusted leader that you directly offer value to and then are able to make money from, the means by which you communicate with them is going to be absolutely critical and you do not want to cut corners on that. A lot of people, you know, they're tempted to go with a free service or to use like a Google group or to use some uh, little free script that goes on their website and runs the thing or they just copy and paste it into, you know, the carbon copy field, which is a huge faux pas and problem right there. You do not want to use free options. You do not want to use options hosted on your own site. You need to go and pay for a a dependable service that will manage the email list for you. It automatically lets people opt in. It'll automatically let people opt out. It very easily lets you go and put in a broadcast email and kaboom, send that out and they send it out for you in a way that it will make it through the spam filters in a way that the email providers will not screen it out and uh, and not get you marked as spam. So and, and, you know, let me let me point out that this is, uh, I mean, next to, obviously, you got to have a website, web host to put a website on from the very beginning. I mean, people say, okay, what are the services I need from the very beginning? Well, obviously, web hosting, and this would be the other one right away, is that you need a good email list management service. And the one that we have used, the one we recommend and have always uh, used and uh, recommend to everyone is getmyemaillist.com. Getmyemaillist.com. Very you know, a thorough system gives you all the kinds of features and stats and things you need. They keep uh, they keep on top of all the latest best practices. They keep a good relationship with the email inbox providers so that your email they have the you know highest deliverability in the industry is one of the biggest reasons we use them. So that's the one we recommend. It's actually not that expensive per month, and it's just silly not to start building your list from day one and you know by signing up for this service from day one and start building the list right away. Um, again, that is getmyemaillist.com. And by the way, we have an interview with the CEO of getmyemaillist.com in the academy, and he shares a lot of tips and tricks on starting and maintaining a successful email list. Just a little tip. All right, so that's step number eight. It's uh, building the list and, and effectively using it to market to and connect with uh, your community. So step number nine, you know, you've got, we've talked about getting your site up. We've talked about building your list. Well, and we talked about putting content out there on your blog and elsewhere. Well, obviously, these things don't matter unless you start getting traffic, unless people know that it's there and people come because it looks, uh, you know, and find it and then see that it looks compelling and hence sign up for your email list and, and come back to your site over and over. So you've got to drive traffic. And this is always one of the most, you know, biggest questions people have. It's uh, one of the most popular parts of the academy is the segment on traffic. And the good news and one of the reasons we love internet business is that there are tons of opportunities for promoting yourself online, even for free and extremely inexpensively. Yes, there are some paid methods, but there's a lot of things that you can do for free. 